Hey, hey, smart cookies. Stop winging it in your sales conversations. You might not have time to follow up at the same time every single week. You may not be able to have a sales deck or a pitch deck in front of somebody at all times, but you better know what you need to say if sales is a priority for you. Hi, I'm Nicole Schmid. I help others create sales-driven marketing plans. And all across the country, I'm seeing one major problem. People are getting more leads in from ads than maybe ever before, maybe that they're not used to, and they're messing it up on the sales call. They don't have a prepared sales pitch, right? They don't have a plan of what they're gonna say and they don't have a downsell. What are they gonna offer if somebody is price sensitive or they're not ready to move forward on the largest thing that you're selling? And number three, you don't have a qualifying question at the end after you've presented investment. Three biggest mistakes that I've been seeing. One, you don't have a planned pitch. You don't have a plan for what you're gonna say every single time, so you're missing out on the momentum of knowing what you're gonna say and how people react each and every time. Maybe you don't have, have a sales deck, but you're missing the point. You need to have a plan on what you're gonna say. Two, you don't have a downsell prepared, not another offer that you can give someone who might be price sensitive. And friends, it's not because they're cheap, they're price sensitive because they don't trust you yet. They've been burned before. There's something else going on that they're not prepared to share with you and tell you. So you need to offer a downsell when they're not ready for your biggest and best thing yet. And finally, number three, the other thing that I see is you don't have the right question at the end of your sales conversation. After you've offered up what the investment is gonna be like to work with you, you don't have a way of saying like, hey, how does that sound? No, you need to come up with something like, Scale one to 10, how do you feel about that investment and the information I shared with you today? The answer that they give you to that is really telling, especially if they give you a number, that's really helpful. But many times people will just ramble their thoughts, their concerns, their worries, and either you can overcome them or you can't. You're gonna find that out in that conversation. But one to 10 is a key factor in how you move forward or how you release them from that conversation and wish them well. I'm here to help you and your small team win more sales this year. If you need something very specific, DM me for a question or follow for more tips.